What's up, YouTube? It's your girl CJ with the Taste Takeover, and I am here with another video. Yeah. All right, guys, it's been a while since I made a video, and I apologize for that. We actually have a lot of stuff that's coming out very soon, very soon. But today, I decided not to do a story time. I decided to rant and just say what the hell is on my mind because I've been feeling a certain kind of way ever since I had this conversation with it. Um, ever since I had, because I just been feeling a certain type of way lately. Um, a certain today's topic that I want to talk about is going to be um, about insecurities. Now, I recently job and I work with nothing but men, and it's very interesting to see how men think, how they think about women, how they think about marriage, how they think about life in general. Like, I had a, just yesterday, I had a discussion with a guy, and he made a comment saying that he does not want his girlfriend to have any male friends, and he does not want, he will not allow her to accept any men on, on her social media, not even his best friend. Now we're going to get into my point of view. My point of view on that is that that's ridiculous. That's crazy. That's beyond insecurities. What men need to understand is that just because you're a man doesn't mean that you are a, are an owner. You do not own your woman. You do not own your wife. She has just as much freedom and liberty as you do. Like, what makes you, who are you? Like, what makes you think that you have any control over a woman? If you are a secure man and you know, hey, you know what? I'm a good man. I'm a good husband. I do everything that I need to do. I take care of home. I take care of my wife. I take care of my children. You really don't have a reason to even think that your wife would go anywhere. Like, to me, it's ridiculous. Like, everybody, whether you're man, woman, straight, lesbian, it, gay, it doesn't matter. Every person needs a life outside of a relationship. Not, and when I say that, I mean like you need friends and you shouldn't have to dictate what kind of friend that you're going to have or what kind of friend that could be around you just because of your relationship. Like with me, I'm a lesbian, obviously I'm a stud. If I, I have female friends who are feminine, I have female friends that are studs, I have male friends, I have all kinds of friends. My wife doesn't say anything to me about who my friends are because she is a secure woman. She knows at the end of the day, I'm coming home to her. I'm not going off, I'm not drifting off any other way. To me, it's too much work just to handle one woman, rather it multiples personally but this same guy that says oh my uh girlfriend can't have male friends or whatever this dude looks at every woman that walks by says that he ooh, ooh she's fine ooh, look at her ooh, i'll smash that ooh, that or whatever the case may be and maybe that's why you don't want your female to have any male friends because maybe you're afraid that she's going to do the same thing behind your back when she sees males or she's around males. Or maybe you are so insecure, you think that if a male is around your girl, that if he goes for her, she's going to fall for it. Dude, not every man is going to want your woman. Just because you think your woman is beautiful doesn't mean that the next man is going to. And he might. And just because he thinks that your woman's beautiful doesn't mean that he's trying to hit on her or smash because there are actual, actually, there actually are respectable men in this world. And I just feel like if you handcuff, that's where the term handcuff comes from. You're not letting your spouse do something. And I hate to use the word let because you don't own that person. You're not letting anyone do anything. That person is grown. That person can do whatever it is that they want. If that person wants to go out and have a girl's night, she can do that. Now, out of respect for me, if I want to go out and hang out with my best friend or I want to have a boy's night or however you want to call it, 
out of respect, I'm going to let my wife know, like, hey, Anna wants to do this with me on Friday. Um, this is the plan. This is what we're going to do. I actually like hanging out with my wife. So the first thing I'm going to say is, would you like to go? If she doesn't want to go, she'll every time. Nah, babe, I don't want to go. But you go ahead and go and you have a good time. Because I'm with a secure woman. Of course, we all have our insecurities. But dude, come on, give me a break. You do not own your woman. You don't own her. You don't own him. You don't own anybody but yourself. The only thing that you should be controlling is yourself. And that's it. I mean, if you feel differently about what I'm saying, like if you feel like uh, if you're in a relationship, you shouldn't have friends of the opposite sex. Or if you're in a same-sex relationship, you feel like the feminine girl shouldn't be friends with a stud. Or you feel a stud shouldn't be friends with a feminine girl. Let me know. I could be wrong. And like I said, like the channel says, it's my point of view. This is how I feel. It's my opinion. What I say might not necessarily be right for some people. But it's right for me. And it's, and it's right for my wife. So... I hope that I did not offend anybody with what I'm saying about insecurities within relationships. Um, I'm not really necessarily talking about insecurities within one person, more so is within the relationship because with insecurities comes control. And with control, sometimes, not all the times, but a lot of times with control comes abuse. Rather if it's physical abuse, rather if it's mentally or emotional abuse. Either one, either one of those forms of abuse is wrong. And that's not what a marriage is about. That's not love at all, in my opinion. To me, a relationship is 50-50. A relationship is two people are equals. Two people can have the same amount of say in a relationship as the next. It doesn't matter if they're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter if they're the dominant one or they're not. It doesn't matter if you treat your relationship with respect, if you guard your relationship with your heart, then you shouldn't worry about what the next man or the next woman is going to do because your wife or your husband is not going to worry about the next man or the next woman because you've put it down at home. You've taken care of it. Rather, if you're putting it down sexually, if you're putting it down financially, if you're putting it down emotionally, regardless, you're putting it down. So my advice to people with insecurities, I learned this a couple of months ago from my wife, actually. Learn how your spouse receives love. Learn how you receive love. Once you learn how your spouse receives love, everything else is golden. So that's all I'm really saying. So guys, thanks for listening to me ramble on about insecurities and everything else. Please feel free to leave a comment. Tell me how you feel, your point of view. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and I will see y'all next video. Peace.